when I studied in Fiesole, Italy, there was a little ristorante called Il Forno. The Fornetto brings me back to that. Today we're going to be talking about the Fornetto, wood-fired pizza oven and smoker. It's a dual-purpose unit that cooks beautiful food. Obviously we have the all-weather cover on. Today we're going to start by taking it off. Take off the zipper. We'll see the unit on The Fornetto is dual-purpose. It can smoke as well as act as a roasting oven, cooking chicken, five and a half pound leg of lambs, vegetables, or it acts as a pizza oven. So it's a quite a versatile unit. And then the 16.5 gallon interior of the unit, it's a lot of space to cook a lot of food. I typically like to do a couple things at once. Pizza, chicken, roast. Pretty hungry today. The beautiful thing about the Fornetto unit, besides it's good looking, is that it's wood fired. There's no gas, no propane in. You can use a number of different wood fired elements to get this going. It also comes with a very nice smoker box. So when you have wood chips, I like this Muscati we got from Spain. It's a very nice wood chip. It adds a little bit of like a wine flavor to the pizza. It was tremendous. Obviously in here we call the heat chamber. The heat chamber allows us to build our fire to heat the upper chamber. It's simple. Our baby back ribs marinated are really looking juicy. We're going to cook them slowly so they keep it going. Oh, and they look, they look like they're doing beautiful. Take a look at these here. Oh, excellent. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful glaze on top. Okay, the ribs have just come out of the oven. They've cooled down a little bit. I'm actually gonna take the Fornetto pizza cutter and just cut the ribs right, right down the middle. We'll, we'll do a, a middle cut first. See how these babies look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they look they look excellent. Very tender, still quite juicy. I'm gonna cut them in pairs. Who can go for just one of these? Oh, excellent. So soft. I bet this meat's gonna fall right off the end. Tremendous. We're gonna have a great meal today, guys. do a check on the chicken. I think we're getting real close to the end of this. It's been about 40 minutes on the chicken. How beautiful. Look how beautiful that's browning. It's in my wine reduction with lemon and rosemary. I think it's I think it looks pretty done to me. Now we're gonna make a Napolitan pizza. You can't make a pizza without a nice glass of wine to complement what we're doing here. So I'm gonna open up a bottle of Chianti. Oh, you can make so many different pizzas with this. Fornetto, it's amazing. I mean, I've made my favorite today, which we're making is mozzarella and funghi and prosciutto, which is fabulous and a classic for me. I like to make a real crispy pizza, crispy bottom. I think I've got it ready to roll. Let's put it in the oven. Temperature's nearing pizza time. It's time to put in that pizza. I've got it on the bamboo pizza peel. Still got my chicken finishing. And I'm gonna just put my peel in here. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna let that cook for six minutes. More or less. Looks like our pizza's about done. We're gonna take the Fornetto spatula part of your tool accessory kit, take this out. Put it on our sideboard, let it cool down. Uh, it smells wonderful, it smells wonderful. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this. For 
fish lovers, the Fornetto is magic. Today, we prepared trout. Little dill, little salt, garlic, lemon, olive oil, of course, a little bit of an Italian preparation. You can season to your taste. The crab bruschetta looked perfect. Coming out on the Fornetto cookware baking pan. Oh, they look, oh, they look perfect. Oh, that meat looks so good. Put it right over here on the sideboard. Let them cool a little bit. We'll bring them over to our large buffet table. Our fresh farmer's market meal has turned into a Fornetto feast. We've got pizza and crab bruschetta on the baking dish. We made our, our baby back ribs seasoned very, very nicely with some sweet rub from was Memphis. It's some gorgeous chicken that was in a wine reduction that has been baked beautifully in the Fornetto. And of course we end up with our trout. Four beautiful trout baked for about 10 minutes with salt and of course garlic oil. Of course we've got some fresh avocado, tomato, some wine and some iced tea and I'm going to enjoy the meal with my friends and family and hope you all enjoy the Fornetto.